what's up everyone? This is Bold Donut from the Never Regret Clan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Halo 3 Replica Assault Rifle. So the first thing you're going to need is the True Heroes Plasma Blaster, which you can pick up at your local Toys R Us for just over $25, or even cheaper sometimes, and you'll also need a can of plastic spray paint. You will also, most likely, if you're going to make more than one, a respirator to help protect your lungs. Um, it's a lot cheaper to do it this way. Now, as you'll notice in this video, I'm going to be using newspaper to spray paint the uh, assault rifle. Do not do this. What I ended up using was a bird feeder hanger. The reason you don't want to use the newspaper is the plastic spray paint creates a sticky layer, which the newspaper will then stick to and it will stick to your assault rifle and it'll either screw up your uh, you know, paint job or you'll seal, as in this case with this one I created, you will seal up the battery compartment so you can never change the battery. Now a lot of you have also asked, is there any way to paint it more than one color? Yes, you just have to buy another can of spray paint. In general, this whole thing will cost you about $25 and it's really easy to do it just if you're young you want to get some adult supervision with the uh, spray paint but in general it's really not hard to do all you got to do is just take the time and spray paint it that's really all you have to do besides buying the materials now one thing i am going to warn you is do not take the assault rifle inside a house or spray paint it inside a house unless you have a ventilated area an extremely well ventilated area uh it can actually harm your pets the spray paint fumes and it really is very smelly for at least three days so make sure that you can keep it somewhere outside to let all the bad smelling fumes from the paint dissipate and so that you can actually you know breathe inside your room without actually doing harm to your lungs another thing you're gonna want to be very careful with uh, the assault rifle making it uh, you're gonna need to cover up the flashlight part of it because it actually does work the flashlight area can you know when you pull the trigger it actually does light up this is really great that Toys R Us did this the reason that they uh, Bungie cannot sue Toys R Us for this which has been asked a lot in the previous video is because it is slightly different when you look at the bottom handle but otherwise, yes, this is a two-year-old toy, but, you know, for $25, you can have a look-alike assault rifle. I'm not going to be complaining there. If you are interested in uh, seeing what the people over at the 405th, which is the main uh, replica, Halo replica forums, um, did with this assault rifle, I have a link in the description, so go check it out. If you are also looking for a link to the toy itself on ToysRUs.com, if you do not have a Toys R Us near you, that is also in the description. And I want to thank you for watching this. Do remember that this will take a long time to do. The spray paint takes about an hour and a half to fully dry when you do one layer. I would recommend doing a few layers. You will find one or two spots on the assault rifle itself which take a long time to dry or to actually get a layer of paint on. What I found after when I did my second one was if you take a regular regular paint and paint that over and then put the plastic spray paint over it'll stick a lot quicker and it'll save you a whole lot of time going back and having to repaint it multiple times so just a reminder make absolutely sure you do not spray paint this while it is on newspaper you can also if you have a few extra bricks laying around you can do it on that but do not spray painted on paper. That was a huge mistake I made on the first one. It pretty much ruined the assault rifle and it just makes it look horrible. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I know that this tutorial is it's a little long and that I'm going to end this before it's actually over. But this is a repost and I'm really sorry that the first one got taken down. Dragon Force, which was the song in the background, uh, had a uh, copyright infringement filed against me so I had to mute the audio and replace it but I couldn't add this narration you can't upload which I think is something YouTube should add but that's for another time anyways this is Bull Donut from the Never Regret Clan saying 
thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy playing with your new assault rifle. Remember to check out the 405th or back here later this summer when I make how to make a Halo 3 assault rifle part 2, which will have a little more, some more features that you can add to it, such as an actual long black, how to get rid of the uh, orange front part for the uh, barrel of the gun and actually have it look like a real gun, and even how to use two colors. So tune back in then. This is Bold Donut from Never Regret Clan saying peace out guys and enjoy.